Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Manasarvayar YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to explain about how to calculate area of a field map. So, for every field, there is a map. There is a map which is called field map or naksha or survey map or whichever it is called based on the location. So, in, and in Andhra Pradesh, it is called FMB. In Telangana, it is called naksha. So, manual calculation is also important to a surveyor to understand the what is the basic knowledge and to understand how they are formed, how they are how how the old people are calculated. So nowadays software are software is available and the videos on those software also done by our channel and uploaded in, in our YouTube channel which you can able to search after this video. In this video, we are calculating this area. So this field area in this video. You can see, I think it is, it is showing something blur. So, so if it is showing something blur like this, click on the FMB, then you will get the clear map. So here is a clear map. As you all of know that how to read an FMB. So if it is not, if it is not understanding to you, so this is the brief introduction to how to understand an FMB. So this is the field which is so the dark line. So the dark line which is shown like this. Sorry. The dark line which is shown from A to B and B to C and C to D, D to 1, D to A. These are the ridges of a field and the, and the lines which are represented with the dotted lines are guess lines or G lines which are used for calculation of FMB and refixing of stones if it is not available. So this is A, B, C, D are the are we call as junction stones and the one serial number one are we call it as offset numbers. The numbers which are which are uh, written which are written beside the beside the lines are called the lengths of those lines okay these are called as f lines and the center lines which are re represented in the blue color and the dash those are called the guess lines or g lines and the 600 and one sorry 932 are the g line measurements and all remaining are f line measurements so with these measurements we will able to calculate the area of this FMB. So in this situation, in this situation, we are dividing this into two main triangles and one offset. And two main triangles, the one number one is the first triangle is triangle ABC from A to B, B to C, and C to D. And the next triangle is and the next triangle is A to C, D and the G line and the G line. So these are the two triangles. This is the second triangle and the previous one is the first triangle. So these two, two triangles and this is also a triangle but, but it is an offset. The offset we can able to calculate easily with another process and these triangles we can able to calculate the area with another process. Here also two processes to calculate the area of a single triangle. So this is the triangle in which all sets are different measurements. So these kind of triangles are called 
स्केल एंड ट्रायंगल्स स्केल एंड ट्रायंगल्स आई थिंक स्पेलिंग मे बी मिस्टेक एन द स्केल एंड ट्रायंगल्स स्केल एंड ट्रायंगल्स आर द ट्रायंगल्स इन विच ऑल साइड्स आर डिफरेंट ओके दिस द लाइन मेजरमेंट्स ऑफ लाइन मेजरमेंट्स ऑफ ए ट्रायंगल आर नॉट इक्वल टू वन अनदर दोस काइंड ऑफ ट्रायंगल्स आर कॉल्ड स्केल एंड ट्रायंगल्स सो दिस काइंड्स ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ ट्रायंगल्स वी कैन एबल टू कैलकुलेट द एरिया बाय यूजिंग द फार्मूला अंडरस्कोर सॉरी रूट ओवर एस इंटू एस माइनस ए इंटू एस माइनस बी इंटू एस माइनस सी This is the normal formula which we had learnt in, in our school ages. So where s is equals to s is equals to a plus b plus c by two, a plus b plus c by two, where a is an one one of the side of a triangle, a, b, c are three different sides of a triangle. Okay. So S is equals to half of the perimeter, half of the perimeter of a triangle. Okay, I think you all aware of this area formula. So now we are using this formula. There is another formula also, so that can be discussed in the next video. So that is also easy for some people. That is difficult. This is the basic formula. This is basic formula which we had been learnt in our school. So that I am explaining with this formula in this video. so another method that is called nos method the nearest offset segment method so that can be discussed in the next video so this is the fmb and the for offset for offset 1 here it is displayed offset 1 is displayed here okay so here here so it can be discussed later okay now coming to the manual calculation area so this is our blog i think you know about it if you are new to this blog click on the google so open the google open the google search for manasarvayar blog you can get this blog if you want okay this is the fmb which we have been seen before so we are we are mainly dividing this this triangle sorry we are mainly dividing this fmb into two main triangles which we had said earlier so abc is one triangle and adc is another triangle these are the two main triangles okay where abc are the junction stones main junction stones of this field so here we are divided into triangle abc and triangle acd and then we will calculate the area of offset 1 so as i said the area of triangle is under root root over s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c where s is equals to half of the half of the sum of all three sides or half of half of the perimeter so that is a plus b plus c by 2 now we are going to calculating the area of triangle abc so for that we need to calculate the s s value so for s value s is equals to a plus b plus c by 2 which is 932 plus 932 plus 164 plus 628 these are the sides of triangle abc and we, the sum of all these three sides is Triple two eight, and which divides half is triple one four. Okay. Now calculating the area of triangle ABC. This is the formula in which we are substituting the s value everywhere, and also a values, b values, c values. S into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c. so i'm i'm making it step by step 
if you have a good calculator good scientific calculator you can able to calculate this entire answer you can able to calculate this entire step with a single answer to directly this so if you are using normal casio calculator so which are used in the uh, daily uses of kirana stores are like that if you have like that calculator so you need to do it step by step first step and the second step is second step is multiplying all these three like this and then multiplying with this and then under root it so then you will get the this value so this is all these measurements are links links the two in gunter links how do you identify the these these measurements are in gunter links so you can able to identify this this in which are the this dimensions of this links are identified by using the scale so here using here we here these people are used 1 inch 1 inch is equals to 1 chain of 66 feet it means 66 feet chain is gunter chain the 20 meters chain is if it is metric links it is shown like this 1 cm is equals to 1 chain of 1 chain of 20 meters 20 meters so then only you will identify this all these measurements are in metric links so here it is shown that 1 inch is equals to 1 chain of 66 feet which means all the dimensions which are mentioned in this fmb are in gunter links so when we calculate with the gunter links we will get the area we will get area in square gunter links all we have do now is triangle abc area this is that area of triangle abc which is measured in the square gunter links now keep it apart and next we will go for the triangle acd acd is another triangle which is shown like this triangle a c d okay now initially we have calculated this one this is the first one this is the second one so now i am calculating the second triangle area so triangle a c d area here also applying the same process a plus b plus c by 2 is equals to s calculate the all so now add the all the three sides and divided by 2 gives the s value and substitute those s values and a values in the formula the area of triangle formula which gives the which gives the answer in square gunter links the area is comes in square gunter links now come to the area of offset of 1 so one offset is one offset is we need to know that how the one offset is formed so here here you can see the ladder which is d so it is starts with a d it starts with a d like here and from the d offset 1 is comes there where the 380 sorry 358 links so when surveyor is running his chain like this wherever the 358 links wherever the 358 links comes here comes in the chain line so you have to mark you have to you have to uh, dig you have to uh, keep a mark on with a cross stuff and then make it 90 degrees make a line 90 degrees and then go for do go for 24 links then offset 1 comes there that is the meaning of ladder so if you are moving from this d like this wherever the 358 links comes here and then a very particular line sir very perpendicular line a particular a perpendicular line which is drawn from this drawn from the chain s here 28 links with this 28 links you will get 0.1 so what does it means this is the offset measurement and this is the cutting point distance 358 is the cutting point distance so for this now we are calculating this area we are calculating this 
area of small triangle so what is the basic area of small triangle which is in right angle triangle or uh, which we know about the height of the triangle so the smallest measurement is known as this this uh, height or we call it as offset we know that the area of triangle is basically half into base into height previously we have used another formula to calculate the area because we don't know we don't know the height of the triangle so now we know the height of the triangle so now we are using this kind of formula which is the total uh, sorry half into base is base is the distance from a to sorry d to a this is this total is 600 and the height is 24 so we can we can calculate this by this formula so offsets are calculated with this formula whenever there is offset of single so coming to the come back to this here we have mentioned clearly the area of offset one area of offset one is it forms as a right angle triangle da1 where one is a perpendicular to perpendicular offset on da so one so offset one point is very perpendicular to the one and da line as we have shown in the sketch so now this becomes the height this becomes the height now we are calculating the area of this triangle by using half into base into height half into so base and measurement is 600 the height offset measurement offset measurement is 24 lengths so which gives the area of offset as 7200 square gunter lengths so we are focusing on calculating the area of this entire field now we are calculating this area of entire field so we have step by step calculated the area of this one once and this one second time and the last this little triangle third time so we have to add this all the three triangles we will get the area of triangle here we have done like this area of triangle abc plus area of triangle acd then area of